Welcome to Seize the Mains by Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I'm Surbhi Sardana and this is Season 3 of our Daily Answer Writing Initiative. This initiative runs in coordination with our website rajisacademy.com. Here at the Mains Answer Writing section, you can click and you'll see a list of questions on which you can answer in the comment section given below every question. So the question taken for discussion today, the link to this question is there in the description. It will directly take you to our website so you can answer it there. But let's first discuss it here. So the question is that the PESA Act or Panchayat Extension to the Scheduled Areas Act 1996 has a long road to cover to realize its objectives. Discuss. First of all, I would like you to see, look at the directive here. The directive here is discuss. So you have to address both sides of the situation. You have to talk about positives also, negatives also or whatever perspectives you can bring, not just positive, negative, but the various diverse factors that you can bring that have to be inculcated in your answer. So answer in 250 words, so that's a relief that it is a long answer. You can write more points as compared to a 150 words answer. So this act has a long road to cover to realize its objectives. This question means that the act has some shortcomings, it has some loopholes and they need to be overcome with time. But this is a discuss question, so you have to talk about the positives also and uh, then we'll talk about the shortcomings or the loopholes. So let's begin. First of all, the introduction. This is a continuous introduction. You don't have to give subheadings in the introduction. This is just for your understanding. So why was the PESA Act brought in? आप इंट्रोडक्शन में पहले पैसा एक्ट के बारे में थोड़ा सा बताइए पैसा एक्ट के फिर प्रोविजंस बताइए उसमें क्या क्या पावर्स किस अथॉरिटी को अलॉटेड है टॉक अबाउट इट बिकॉज डिस्कस करना है एंड देन मूव ऑन टू टॉक अबाउट द सिग्निफिकेंस सो व्हाट यू कैन से इज दैट ऑलमोस्ट 8.6 परसेंट या जो 9 परसेंट पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द कंट्री है दैट इज ट्राइबल पॉपुलेशन विच लिव्स इन स्केड्यूल्ड एरियाज तो यहाँ पर ट्राइबल्स को ज़्यादा पावर्स देने के लिए अपनी ऑटोनमी uh, मेंटेन करने के लिए ये आग लाया गया था सो दस दैट्स हाउ यू कैन इंट्रोड्यूस योर आंसर अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस सेंसस टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सेंसस ऑलमोस्ट नाइन परसेंट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया इज ट्राइबल एंड अ ग्रेट मेजोरिटी ऑफ दीज पीपल रिजाइड इन स्केड्यूल्ड एरियाज तो यहाँ से इस एक्ट को लाने का पर्पज क्लियर हो जाता है नाउ यू कैन टॉक डायरेक्टली अबाउट द एक्ट इट सेल्फ सो दिस एक्ट वॉज इन एक्टेड टू ब्रिंग दीज एरियाज द स्केड्यूल्ड एरियाज इन टेन स्टेट्स अर्लियर देवर नाइन स्टेट्स बट आफ्टर द यू नो After the uh, splitting of states, they, there are 10 states now, where there are scheduled areas, where there are PESA work of the country under the purview of national framework of Panchayat. This act was framed in conformity with traditional tribal self-rule by entrusting extraordinary power to Gram Sabha. So, here you have talked about self-rule by talking about self-rule and by talking about Gram Sabha. The role of Gra Gram Sabha and by allotting powers to Gram Sabha. You have made it very clear that you know about this act. You know broadly this act. Ke bare mein pata hai. And after that, according to the word limit that is available, either you can choose to write this paragraph. In this paragraph, mein Gram Sabha ki powers are enlisted. That the minor forest produce hai, ya jo minor minerals are in forest areas or scheduled areas. Or the minor water bodies, small water bodies or forest areas, hai, unke regarding all the decisions of Gram Sabha. Legi. That is, all the people which comprise the Gram Sabha, they will take the decisions. So either you can choose to write this paragraph if your answer is short, but if your answer is going long, then just write down in point format about four or five things from here. Don't write the whole paragraph because this will easily take around 50 words. If you write it a little bit, this will take easily take around 50 words. So first of all, Let's identify the keywords here. It legally recognizes the right of tribal communities, residents of scheduled areas to govern themselves. Tribal communities, legal recognition to govern themselves through their own systems of self-government and also acknowledges their traditional rights over natural resources. So this is there, then you can talk about Gram Sabha that about implementing policies, exercising control over minor or non-timber forest produce, minor water bodies, minor minerals, managing local markets, preventing land alienation and regulating use of intoxicants among the members of that tribe or 
how intoxicants are dealt around their area among other things. So, these are the powers of Gram uh, Panchayat, Gram, uh, Gram Sabha basically ki Gram Sabha in sab cheezon ko regulate karegi. So, that is how you can summarize this part. Now, we will talk about the significance. Significance part has to be very brief though it is a discuss question, but the question ki inclination hai, uski inclination is taraf hai ki aap thode loopholes ke baare mein baat kare. Then, so that is why by understanding the question, we understand that you have to uh, talk about loopholes in a bit detail as compared to your when you are talking about significance. So, about significance what you can write is that the act aim to decentralize power. So, democratic decentralization of power jo hai wo is act ke through achieve hui hai, tribals ke jo unique culture hai and uh, self government obviously that has been provided to them, unique culture ko safeguard karne ke liye act important hai. Also, it deepens the democracy in the country by you know uh, delineating power to the lowest level and the fourth point is that whatever historical injustice has been done to the tribals. Its provisions appear to come as a savior that is designed to erase the historical injustice done to the tribal community and help in restoration of their dignity and tradition of self-governance. So, these four are the broad points. Full answer is available on the website. The link is there in the description. You do not have to read the whole answer right, uh, right here. Ye wale information use karke aap apna answer frame kijiye, usme apne points add kijiye aur hume answers bhejiye. Now coming to the most important part which is about the problems and this was in news because Chhattisgarh is also planning to frame rules. Apne rules banana chata hai is act ke according that state is coming up with new rules before elections. So, what are the problems? The first problem is about, uh, about making rules. This act is uh, a legislation at the central level but state governments ko apne rules banane padenge isko implement karne ke liye. So, they say that almost 40 percent of the states for example, we are talking about 10 states here. So, only 6 states have uh, created rules. Other states ne to koi laws enact bhi nahi kiye hai. So, almost 40 percent of the states have not even implemented it. PESA Act does not specify rule making powers or provide a time period. Koi deadline nahi thi ki is particular date tak uh, states ko rules bana nahi honge. So, even after 26 years of existence many states have not framed rules. So, this is the first problem. The second one is that whatever states have framed rules um, there uh, we see a lot of problem with implementation. So, implementation are hurdles because everywhere in every tribal area in every scheduled area there are some powerful people whether they are politicians, whether they are you know money lenders or they are just powerful people because of the capital they hold or the authority they hold. So, powerful people still have control over natural resources in these areas and local community suffers at the hand of these people uh, whenever they try to claim their ownership. The second one is the government is acquiring a lot of land for example, koi multi purpose project hai. So, government land acquire kar leti hai uh, without taking the consent of the Gram Sabhas or the village council. It is still happening in many parts of uh, many parts of India even in scheduled areas it is happening. The third one is that social audits conducted across the state have also pointed out that in reality different developmental schemes are being approved on paper by Gram Sabha, but when they come to implementation they are entirely different. So, what happens on paper and what happens in practice is very much different. And the fourth one, the most important one is that the power uh, regarding local markets and minor forest produce. Minor forest produce ke saath kya karna hai, kaise trade hoga, kahan becha jayega, that should be in the control of Gram Sabha. But not even a single state has given that control to Gram Sabha yet, it is still controlled by government officials. So, this is the most important point. The third one is about legal difficulties. There are many acts which are prevalent in the same area. For example, minor minerals are a part under PESA and jo, uh, mineral schedule areas mein milte hai, they are covered under PESA and they belong to the Gram Sabha. What they have, to, uh, what has to be done with them, Gram Sabha has to decide it. But there are many other acts which are prevailing in the same area. So, what uh, people do is they use the act which gives them more power to exploit resources and uh, the routes which they uh, in which Gram Sabha is not involved. So, legal difficulties are already there. First legal difficulty is definition of the village itself, which villages are covered and 
वॉट इज द एरिया ऑफ द विलेज विलेज की बाउंड्री या डेलीनेशन कहाँ तक है गैप्स इन इनकन्सिस्टेंसीज बिटवीन द सेंट्रल एंड स्टेट स्टेट एक्ट वी डिस्कस दिस बिफोर ऑल्सो क्लैश बिटवीन पेसा एंड प्री एग्जिस्टिंग लॉज एंड लैक ऑफ क्लैरिटी अबाउट कस्टमरी प्रैक्टिस एंड कल्चरल आइडेंटिटी एक्सेट्रा सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ जस्ट लाइक यू नो दे आर अक्वायरिंग मैनी मिनरल्स यूजिंग द कोल बियरिंग एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन समथिंग दैट इज इलीगल वेन इट कम्स टू परस्यूइंग वेन इट इज इलीगल एंड अगेंस्ट द स्पिरिट ऑफ पेसा द फोर्थ वन इज दैट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ट्राइबल लॉज एंड कल्चर रिमेन्स अ क्वेश्चन एंड जब तक अंडरस्टैंडिंग नहीं है गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशल्स की या पॉलिटिशियंस की दीज ट्राइबल लॉज कैन नॉट बी पुट इन टू प्रैक्टिस दे कैन नॉट बी गिवन दैट मच रिस्पेक्ट सेकेंडली the government officials have a lot of power and anyone who has a lot of power will delay its relinquishing of power wo power kisi aur ko nahi dena chahenge so tribal communities are not getting power governments and officials concerned uh, uh, try to con- uh, con- govern the pesa areas through the centralized administration which has been running for decades and they do not want decentralization of power then fifth one is the political problems which definitely include lack of political will especially in implementation and recognition of areas the next one is ignorance about pesa among different uh, different segments people are not aware of this especially the communities which are covered which do have rights under this act they are all, uh, they are not aware the fragmentation of well knit tribal society because of electoral competition whenever uh, you know elections are coming up these well knit tribal societies are seen to be fragmented now because one or the other political party influences them one or the other leader influences them and they deliberately give up their powers or give up uh, or give their votes to a leader who promises them big things without even knowing that they already have those rights so in the conclusion what you can write down is we have addressed all parts of the answer in conclusion you can say that this is a very powerful tool for democratic decentralization in india and recognizing the unique culture of tribal communities and uh, whatever injustice has done has been done to them first of all the central act has to be made clearer secondly all states must implement it they should come up with their own rules to implement this particular act in in these areas and implementation should be strict and very fast thirdly you can give a way forward you can talk about the role of civil society there are many ngos or many civil society groups which work for the betterment of tribal communities or people residing in scheduled areas to unki madad lekar civil society activists ki uh, civil society groups ki madad lekar bahut sari cheeze badli ja sakti hain ye is act ko bahut acche se implement kiya ja sakta hai right secure kiye ja sakte hain and it can help in the development and growth of tribal communities and people living in scheduled areas so this is uh, what you can give in your way forward what you can do is talk about constitutional provisions hamare jo uh, directive principles of state policy hain aap unke bare mein baat kar sakte hain talk about some article and or write examples for example we have taken examples of chatisgarh here we have taken uh, examples of some social customs which have been practiced by tribals you can write uh, about examples from your own state from your from whatever you you've been reading in the newspapers so that is what will get you better marks than uh, than other candidates so this is your whole answer visit our website to read out this answer and comment there on our website we are constantly evaluating your answers on a daily basis so we'll respond back to you with our feedback in less than 48 hours see you there and stay tuned uh, see is the mains continues on saturdays also so i'll see you tomorrow but before that the question for tomorrow is india is projected to surpass china as the world's most populous country in a few years discuss the challenges of rising population and suggest solutions so population is a very hot topic when it comes to india that we are uh, soon going to become the most populous country of the world so try to write an answer on this question post it on our website or if you're not confident enough wait for seize the maze discussion tomorrow at 9 pm i'll see you there all the best